What would happen if the EPA or other regulatory agencies came out and said, you know what, we're wrong about fluoride. It's not good. We shouldn't have it in these products. What would the trickle-down effect in terms of industry and business and the dental association be? Well, they would join all the rest of the countries in the world. There's only 11 countries left that actively add fluoride to their water supply. Lots of countries have natural fluoride that's crippling people, mm -hmm. China, Thailand, uh, Ethiopia. But actually adding it to the water supply, they're down to 11 now. So what they would do is they would join the rest of the scientific community, which might be a new feeling for them, that if you could not dispose of the silico fluoride waste, that you would have to dispose of it in a Class A landfill, where you have a lined landfill mm -hmm. and you, you slake it with a, a calcium of some sort, lime, or, mm -hmm. and to inactivate it so it doesn't eat the planet. And that's basically an added cost of making phosphate fertilizer. Well, if the phosphate fertilizer costs more, then agribiz might quit using it. It's making them a lot of money selling water to you for food, but then you would have tomatoes that taste like they do out of your own garden because they would not be blown up with phosphate fertilizers to make it mm -hmm. big. You know, who wants a big tomato that tastes like nothing? Mm -hmm. What about the Dental Association? For all the years that they've been putting, you know, fluoride treatments on our teeth, I mean, would they face lawsuits, I would imagine, too, by, you know, people that were potentially harmed by that? You know, you're getting into fields of law, and then what you got to do is you got to prove proof of causation. So if you had a topical treatment from dentist A and a topical treatment from dentist B, and you used Colgate Palmolive toothpaste from place C, and you drank fluoridated water in Los Angeles, D, you know, then they're going to say, well, mm -hmm. you can't prove that A caused the problem that you're seeing in this client. It could have been D, could have been the city of Los Angeles. So you got to sue the city of Los Angeles, but you got to sue dentist B too, because they, oh, wait a minute, you're, you're talking legal ramifications. And I know what's going on today is that if they're afraid of being sued, the longer they delay in taking appropriate action, the National Academies of Science spoke in 2006 and the level of fluoride they showed caused harm to the thyroid was infinitesimal amounts. Far, far less than anybody is receiving this drink in fluoridated water. So it's time to stop dosing people with a very powerful poison. Mm -hmm. And that the longer they delay, the more the liability is. So if they're concerned, fine. But otherwise, it's another hundred years of legal action and the attorneys will wonderful they'll have plenty of depositions mm -hmm. I'm sure to go but I would like him to stop it now and sort the uh, the rest out in a court of law